What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Charge, episode 13. And almost happy Halloween. I did not think about how my 13 episodes right around the corner from Halloween. Don't know if that's a bad thing. But well, welcome to episode 13 of Podcast Charge. I'm your host, Hector Ramirez, alongside... Alongside... Nobody. But we're actually going to talk about that in the episode. Uh, we For our special topic, we usually... Uh, of course, we usually have like a special guest. But for our special topic, we're going to be talking about why we don't have special guests. Why there's no episode of Podcast Charge last week. Uh, a couple of announcements regarding Podcast Charge. As well as an announcement regarding my new show that I have in New New Haven. But we're going to get to that later in the episode. Uh, of course, in old fashioned for Podcast Charge, we always go over the news of the New University of New Haven. And... It's very own newspaper, the Charger Bullets. And as you can see, they have a little bat there. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Nice little touch there. Uh, so if you want to catch your latest and greatest news of Virginia New Haven, you can always go to ChargerBulletin.com. You can also follow Charger Bullets on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you like what you see here, click that like button and subscribe for your weekly news of Virginia uh, New Haven. Or if you're a student, you can always pick up a copy of the Charger Bulletin on the racks at University New Haven located around campus. So... In old fashion, that's going to the weekly roundup of Eugene New Haven with all the latest and greatest news. We have three news stories for you guys today. First one, new academic building plans for fall of 2017. So, President of Eugene New Haven, Steve Kaplan, announced plans for construction of a new academic building in Glass Atrium. This setting will act as a uh, student activity space on campus. So... I have little bullet points here, so I'm just going to read out to you. So the new facility will be replacing 150 to 180 parking spots. Red light. Hold on. 150 to 180 parking spots are going to be gone. Okay. Let's see how this is actually, if they're replaced or not. So, and that's actually the next bullet point. So 220 spots will be replaced the lost parking spots. Uh, and various properties close to the campus. Okay, so that's how we're getting back our parking spots. Good and dandy, because we actually needed more parking spots in general. And it seems to be they're going to be adding 20 to 40 more parking spots uh, after this building. Or when this building is being built. So, where is this building being planned to actually be put on campus? And it was a little confusing when I was reading the articles where I was going to. I actually had to think about it for a second. of like, okay, wait, how is it going to be in this spot? So... On campus, the way it's going to be is going to replace 150 180 parking spots in the Kaplan parking lot, and it, it's going to be just there. It's a little weird because they, in the building, I'll say it's going to be connected to Buckman or Tagliatella Hall, which is right in front of it, and then Bartels, which is to the right of it. So it seems to be they're going to be connecting, which is a little weird. I don't know how they're going to pull that off, but this building is going to be taking over uh, the parking spot that is in Kaplan. And uh, 220 spot parking spots will be replaced with it. So uh, I guess there's the um, equivalent, I guess you want to say. And, these, and this construction will go on simultaneously. So while the building and park spots are being replaced and building spots being, uh, building is being constructed, the 200 parking spots will also be uh, already done or constructed as well so to avoid problems, stuff like that. Uh, so how is this building being funded? So it's being funded through bank loans and financial gifts. Uh, and another thing about this building is a little bit of concerns of, uh, do we really need this park? Do we really need this uh, building? Um, there was some concern. It was a full meeting where uh, students attended and gave their say, excuse me, gave their say on whether or not uh, this building was going to be a good thing or a bad thing. And a couple of had a really good points as far as, Maybe we don't really need a student activity center. We don't need like a rec another recreational building. Put it put it into a dorm or some sorts. Um, of course, the president and of course all the unit staff are always taking into consideration the students uh, the students input. But I see they might be going with this new building. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what kind of primary purpose it will serve other than recreation. From what I read from the article, but who knows? Maybe they might announce something about it later in the year i will be graduating i won't be in school by the time uh this thing is already built so to me it's just like eh whatever um but yeah so if you want to be more about that definitely go to chargerbulletin.com and click on new academic building plans for fall 2017 article so next article regarding fun stuff actually because homecoming was just this weekend so to kick off homecoming was swimsuit swimsuit sprint there we go 
And the title of the arc was Swimsuit Sprint Kicks Off Homecoming Weekend. Uh, so Homecoming Weekend kicked off at, on October 23rd with the 4th Annual Swimsuit Sprint and Fall Concert. Uh, Sigma Alpha Epsilon and Scope were in charge of, do of the donation to the Salvation Army for clothes. And the idea of the Swimsuit Sprint con uh, Swimsuit I can't pronounce it. Swimsuit Sprint was to donate clothes to the Salvation Army to donate as much clothes as they could. Um, and it was very successful. Very, very successful. The bands that played were Funk Dogs, Brass, and We the Kings, which were really more or less the highlight of the concert because We the Kings is a pretty uh, well-known band, especially for those of us that are in college now and listen to them in high school. They're pretty big. Uh, next article. Homecoming Heroes. So this is actually regarding Homecoming, which which uh, started on October 24th. And one of the first events that played out was the Cherry Race event where uh, different clubs and different uh, fraternities, sororities, made their own chariots and had like a little race, which is pretty cool. Um, EMS, the, M the EMS club came in first place and their chariot was actually uh, shaped or really an homage to the uh, ambulance structure, which is pretty cool. There was also a car smashing fundraiser where participants would donate a dollar to use a sledgehammer to destroy a car. All proceeds went to Make a Wish Foundation. So if you you're make a wish to destroy a car with a sledgehammer, pay a dollar though. Uh, that's pretty cool. Fo and there's also a football game. And I didn't really say the Chargers won this football game or not, but I have in quotes cheer the Chargers on to victory. So I guess they won the Charger. Uh, the Chargers actually for the football team. They're actually really good, um, from what I hear. They they have a really good record when it comes to winning their games and all that kind of stuff. They have really been to a game, not really into football, but I just hear they're very good. So yeah, go Chargers. Um, another, actually, I have a, the fourth article. I have four articles. I just didn't space it right. That's weird. So the fourth article we're getting to is the UNH marching band makes a little boy's birthday wish come true. That's really cool. So Owen Messing, a four year four year old kid. Uh, for your boy, always wanted to conduct and visit a marching band. So, Owen's parents reached out to UNH marching band to schedule to see if they could do something for little Owen here. And they did. Uh, it was a good motivation boost, not only for the band. Uh, actually, it was a good motivation boost for the band just to keep doing what they're doing. Also, we did made a little boy's wish come true. Birthday wish come true, and that's really awesome, cool. Uh, good job, marching band. Honestly, that's one of the coolest stories I read from this week, I believe. Uh, also, if you just want to catch up more of the news about Charger Bulletin, that's not all the news we have of the week, but there's definitely some more, and I need, I need, I need to keep you guys lingering somehow. So go to ChargerBulletin.com for more news. If you're a student, just pick up a copy of Charger Bulletin. Uh, it should be up on the racks right now. Also, if you check out the entertainment section, right, the little article done by a special man. There you go. I had it backwards. Right there. See that? So this is actually a movie review for the Attack on Titan live action movie. Attack on Titan Part 2 live action movie. And it's done by yours truly, Hector Ramirez. Want to know what score I gave it? Well, guess we have to go to Charger Bolts. Ah, I got to keep you leaving somehow. All right. So let's get into the special topic. And it's not going to be a long episode. Uh, it's not going to be the usual like 20 to 30 minute long episode. It's going to be a little long because I don't want to just... It's just me talking. So... Not really that exciting. Uh, first, a little swig of water. <sighs> gotta keep hydrated. Gotta keep hydrated. Especially when you're, you know, when you talk a lot. And I like to talk a lot. And the light is a little weird. I'm sorry, it's, it's getting very dark out right now. Clouds are probably passing over. It's fall. You know? So. Alright, so the special topic regarding podcast charts. So first, let's talk about why there's no episode last week. Well... Last week, I was hit with the flu, seasonal flu, whatever you want to call it. But to uh, go into more about that, my voice was just worn out. Like, I could not, I, I, obviously I could speak. But the thing is, like, my voice would hurt so much that I didn't want to strain it more. And, uh, I, you know, after doing two shows where I do talk a lot, I wanted to give my voice a break and to not strain it so that I wouldn't be out, you know, I wouldn't be out for a week. Um, when it comes to the shows, I love doing these shows, so kind of make sure I take care of my voice a little bit more, uh, just take care of my health a little bit more, just so I can bring it to an episode to you guys every week and not have to skip last week like uh, like last week. So 
Um, I, I thank you guys for your patience. Thank you guys for understanding the fact that I had to skip out last week just to get better. I'm feeling a lot better. It's still a little bit congested up here. I can feel it right now. But you know what? At least I have my voice and I'm good and dandy and I could make a video. So, another announcement regarding podcast charge. There's a Facebook page live. Oh my gosh, a Facebook page. So yeah, I actually made a Facebook page while I was sick and while I was actually in production of my other show, which I'll talk about. I, I made a Facebook page. Thank you, Ben Atwater, for making the logo of Podcast Charge. It looks awesome. So if you want to follow the Facebook page, you want to like it and be involved with it and all that good stuff, go to facebook.com slash uh, T... No, it's wrong. Facebook.com uh, slash Charge of Bulletin. The link should be good. Uh, to be honest, actually... I have to check that. So, because I remember, if I, if I put in fi- Facebook.com slash Charger Bulletin, I don't know if it'll go to it. So, you know what? I'm going to put a link in the description down in the box below. Sorry for confusion. Um, I got confused with my other Facebook page for my other show. But I'll fix the link for that so that whenever you, whenever I mention it, I can always just say what the address bar is instead of putting it, you know, Having it Facebook.com slash question mark one two six time you know dash three five. It's not gonna be like that. But for now I'm just gonna put the link in the description down below for the Facebook page of Charger Bulletin. Really cool. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, it's at Muscle Channel 213. Again, there's gonna be a link in the description where I do uh, post up updates for Charger Bulletin. So those links are uh, in link with each other. That was weird. Those links are in relation to each other regarding podcast charge. Uh, again Facebook page, definitely go and like that. Um, if we have a cool logo set up and all that cool stuff, so uh, it would be cool if you guys go and check that out. And so, um, what's the other announcement? Oh, yeah. Well, not announcement. The other update. There's no guests here. So, due to last-minute uh, problems, I was not able to have a guest here. Again, things happen. We just got to keep rolling with it. show must go on. So, and this, and this was actually a perfect opportunity to just say what I needed to say regarding what's going on with Podcast Charge and uh announcement regarding my new show so perfect opportunity but yeah things happen uh thankfully i had a backup plan for this and it was to talk about what's going on so that's why there's no special guest here uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this episode so far it's just me talking but i'll be asking you just relay information it's a good episode and to go into the other topic um regarding my new show so for a while i wanted to do a podcast of some sort. Of course, we're doing podcast charge now, but this is a lot more focused, right? We have the news that we're going to talk about for using New Haven, as well as any topic of choice done by myself or my uh, special guest. And uh, it will be mostly stuff that was like about movies or food or even internships. Uh, for this new show, it's a lot more fun, a lot more loose, I like to say. And the, what's it called? So what's it called, Hector? Come on, get to the point. So, Team TMG, which stands, and TMG actually stands for Television, Movies, and Games, is an internet radio show on Charger Radio, so again, from the Eugene New Haven, and I am one, I am one of two co-hosts. So yes, I actually have a partner by my side, and he was actually on Podcast Charge a couple episodes ago, a couple episodes ago, and his name was uh, Luis Perez, if you guys remember him. So he's actually a co-host with, on Team TMG with me, it premieres Every Monday at 11 a.m. Oh, the lights get really weird. Um, it premieres every Monday at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Charger Radio. It's an internet radio show. And for those of you who want to know how you tune in and all that kind of stuff, well, I'll put the link in the description below with a set of... Um, actually, what I'll do instead is I actually have a Facebook for Team TMG. So I'll put the link of that in the description below. And in that link, I'll actually have a couple... We have a couple of posts uh, on the Facebook page saying how can you tune into Charger Radio and all that good stuff. So one of the ways that you can do it is you go to in, you go to your download uh, app for your smartphone, download the TuneIn Radio app, and then you search for Charger Radio and you can follow us, uh, follow that, follow the Charger Radio icon, and you can catch us every Monday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. I do not know if it will do notifications for you, so you would have to actually go to the Intune app or the TuneIn app. Uh, go to Charger Radio and then go to, you know, at the time we're premiering at 11 a.m., you could uh, hear us there. So you could also go to um, one of the websites on New, on New Haven, which I think it's New Haven slash WNHU. Don't quote me on that. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. But once you go to that page on the 
in the bottom left corner there will be a little icon of the horse the charger horse that you see right there uh, it'll be colored you just click on that and then it'll direct you straight to whatever's playing on charger radio right then and there so so what is Team TMG really? So since it stands for TV, movies, and games, we talk about television, movies, and games. Of course, it will vary from that time to time. Sometimes there will be more news about games than about movies and TV. So that will be like the focus, the focus point of that show. Sometimes there will be more news about movies, and we'll talk about more about that. But during these talking segments, me and Lewis, or Lewis and I, sorry, Lewis and I talk about the news, we talk about what's going on, what shows we're watching, what movies we're watching, what games we're... So it's a, it's very varied in the entertainment section, but it's a lot of fun because we just banter. We always make fun of each other. We're, I've been friends with this guy for years. I mean, since I was in kindergarten. So we're always going off on each other and just having a lot of fun. It's a great show. I think we have great chemistry. We plan to have a couple of guests here and there to talk about just TVs or just games. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely tune in every Monday for that. You can also follow the Facebook page for Team TMG. Again, I'll give me the link description below. We also have a Twitter page. So it's going to be the link description as well as at Team, DM, T, at team TMG10. Uh, the Facebook is also facebook.com slash Team TMG10. So nice, keep it keep it nice and uh, clean and neat and all that good stuff. So that's the actually the new show I have. And I uh, hope you guys join for that because it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's definitely all over the place. D uh, be during our... Not during our talking segment, but after our talk, we have different talking blocks. And during, uh, in between those talking blocks, we have song blocks where we actually play songs from different movies, from different games, or mostly from video games and from different shows as well. So it brings a whole new light to uh, the radio show because I don't think I have, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's no other radio show out there on Charger Radio that's playing video game music. So I think we might be the first one at the Music Haven to do so, which is pretty cool. So, and it's a lot of fun. It's great music. The music I just talk about for hours and hours. I love uh, video game music. It's one of my deep passions. And the fact that I can actually play it on the radio now is a dream come true. So, I uh, hope you guys join me for that. Again, all the information will be down in the link description below. But that's really it for Podcast Charge that I wanted to talk about for you guys today. Again, just to recap, no guests for today because of just complications. But again, we got to, I got to talk about a couple of other stuff, which is nice. Um... No episode last week because I was just at my straining voice, did not want to make it any worse. And we also have a Facebook page for Charger Bulls, which you go down in the description below, click that, like the page, follow for all the news and updates regarding Podcast Charge and all that good stuff, as well as a new announcement for my new show, Team TMG, which I'm co hosting with my best friend, Luis Perez, that premieres every Monday at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. We, we talk about all the greatest and latest in video games, movies, and, t and TV as well as play some very awesome fun tunes uh, for video games and movies and all that good stuff. So, again, all in the link in the description below. Thank you guys for joining me here on Podcast Charge. Very different episode. I uh, hope it wasn't long-winded. I hope you guys are uh, okay with just me just doing this episode solo. But got to keep the show running. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next week for a new episode of Podcast Charge with a special guest, I promise you. Uh, and definitely check out, check out Team TMG. Uh, on the Charger Radio. It'll be a lot of fun. Whew. I'm a little tired. <laughs> and now I actually have to go to class. I'm actually going to be... Yeah. I have to go to class. Peace out, homies. I'll catch you guys for next week on the episode of Podcast Charge. Bye. And happy Halloween!